BBC News. The United Nations has condemned as absolutely unacceptable attacks in two of its bases in the east of the Democratic Republic of Congo that have left one peacekeeper and two members of the UN police dead. It blamed the violence on criminals masquerading as protesters. A close ally of the Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban has resigned, comparing his recent comments on race to the Nazi era. Zsuzsa Egedus said she'd no choice. Mr Orban had described Western Europe as a mixed-race world, while saying Hungarians only mixed with other Europeans. Scientists say there is compelling evidence that a wildlife market in the Chinese city of Wuhan was at the centre of the COVID-19 outbreak and not a laboratory, as some have claimed. A study found that the addresses of those who were hospitalised early on were clustered around the market. The White House says China has escalated tensions by its rhetoric against a proposed visit to Taiwan by the Speaker of the US House of Representatives, Nancy Pelosi. Beijing said on Monday it had issued forceful warnings to the Biden administration. The US National Park Service says they're trying to recover another body found in the receding waters of Lake Mead, close to Las Vegas. In May, the remains of a man who'd been shot in the head were found in a barrel. In Croatia, a day of ceremonies has concluded with the opening of a bridge linking two separate parts of the country. The Pelješac Bridge allows travel between Split and Dubrovnik without needing to pass through a strip of Bosnian land. England are through to the final of the Women's European Football Championship after beating Sweden 4-0 in Sheffield. They'll take on either Germany or France at Wembley on Sunday. BBC News.